Hello everyone, and welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Echo. We've got a new challenge ahead of us. We've got a room with a lot of clones. Last time we learned a little bit more about how the palace actually records our movements and records our actions to teach them how to better hunt us down. So let's get to it. I'm gonna try and get better at sneaking. Last time, after many, many deaths, I just brute forced it. So now we're gonna try and sneak past these things. Uh, last time, they more than likely learned how to open doors. As we can see there. Fantastic. Gonna, we're going to try and take this one out. This one seems all by its lonesome. I don't mean to offend anybody or anything by calling them hits. But they're weird clones made by a otherworldly palace. So I don't know if they have a preferred... A preferred... A preferred pronoun or a preferred way of speaking about them. Because they did just start off as little splotches of motor oil looking stuff on the ground. Alright, so I got past that room relatively quickly. That's that's nice. That's encouraging. Gotta go down. I feel like I probably missed a tooting fork or two in there. No use going back, though. I'm just gonna keep moving. After I check this room for him. Okay, nothing. Just... Gold and white. They learned from me. I'm certain of it. They can't cross the water, but after I've done it, and a blackout has evolved them, they do it without hesitation. And you saw how they were trapped behind the doors, pacing to get to me, and after I opened a few, and a blackout, it was second nature to them. This seems to be a... a thinking man's stealth game. These are not crossing the water. So much for your theory. No, that makes perfect sense. They stop doing what I stop doing. Okay. There is a lot of them in this room. And I got doors on the sides. I gotta go straight ahead. I got doors on the sides. Oh, they're so they know how to open doors. That one can, and they can leap over low walls now. I'm gonna wait for the blackout and sprint across the water. Cause I don't think they learn during the blackout. So if they don't learn during the blackout, I'm free to kind of do whatever I need to do. So blackouts might be the perfect opportunity when I make my move. Man, these, these vases are getting huge. Look at these things. What are those, seven feet tall? Eight feet tall? It's a, it's a shack vase. It's a shack face. Ooh, another heart piece. 
One more left, and I'll get another bar of energy. Curious to learn more about that theory of yours, the one where everything makes perfect sense. Don't you see it? They unlearn as well. It's all tied to the blackout cycles. When the lights are on, the palace keeps track of my actions, registering what I do with those icy ghosts. After some time, it will reboot to update the copies. That's what's causing the blackouts. I get no ghosts when the lights are out. So my guess is that the palace is blind while it's rebooting. When the lights come back on, their abilities match my actions from the previous light cycle. But that would explain why they wouldn't cross the water up there. I didn't touch any water in the light cycle before I reached them. They echo your behavior. Yes. Oop, that's the title. Echoes. That's exactly what they are. Okay, so they only learn things during that cycle. Okay, let's break it down real quick. Lights come on. Every action I do, they learn. Lights go off. Lights come back on. They can use what I did in the light cycle for that time. And then they're going to learn the actions I'm doing in the new light cycle. So then when the lights go off, light cycle 1 actions are deleted. Light cycle 2 actions are learned. So there's... So there's an, a lot of different ways to play each scenario out. Ooh, that's a big tunnel of light. That is that is some brightness. They're coming. Hurry, get out. Where are they coming from? Oh, they're coming from that way. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Let's run. Oh, I can't get out. Gonna have to fight our way out. It looks like. Stopped. What are they doing? Never mind that. Just get out. I am trying to get out, London. What are they doing? They're bowing to me. Yes. I am your master. Learn from me. Do not attack me. I am your friend. Just want to get the soul sucker and get the heck out of here. So learn that action. Learn that and do that for the rest of the game. Please. Alright, I hope that motivational speech worked on him. Oh, it's... I, I'm in a dark tube. Okay. I need to get out of here. Oh. We've gone to yellow. Oh, oh, no, th this is grimy. The sphere just turned off. That means the echoes are not coming, right? You sound like naming them explains everything. To me, the logic of it all only makes the whole thing more absurd. Someone intentionally designed it to be this way. I expected there'd be some obstacles to getting Foster back. You were prepared for this? In your training, I mean. Odds, no. Gramps did talk of great challenges and equally great rewards, but I doubt he knew this is what it meant. You admit he was wrong? Yes and no. I think he managed to find the words, but not their meaning. A little, a little behind the scenes look at the palace. Because I mean, this was on the outside of the planet. So it goes deeper within. Oh, oh, we're moving. We're probably moving from one of the big giant rectangular structures into another one through this. This reminds me of the Nostromo from Alien. So, any words in your teachings about who built this place? That's the thing. None of us ever knew this place existed. He always gestured at a walled enclosure in the uppermost garden when he talked about the palace. I think we all imagine splendid halls filled with the chosen ones who mastered a self control so deep it could overcome even death. So he lied to you. He just didn't get into the specifics. If we passed the trials all the way to the upper terrace, we would be granted access to the passage. 
The ones who rented never returned to town. The translation? I know that now. Back then, we all thought the passage meant the final test. The big one this time. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. Only the strong of mind and body will again reunite as whole. We'd seen resourcefuls break during training. Minds or bodies hurt beyond repair. I can see why you would all strive for that. That wasn't the selling point. The challenge and reward stuff was. Being a resourceful is constant competition, always performing to the best of your ability. But for one to win, others must lose. And losing often meant a life ending. Competition breeds envy. It must have been dangerous for you if you really were as good as you say. Excellence was valued by everyone. The more formidable your competition, the more fruitful the exercise. In the end, everybody won. That's quite the social construct, considering the consequences of losing. That was Gramps' way. He didn't preach. It was pure reasoning. The program made sure all resourcefuls were logically disposed to follow his line of argument to its conclusion. How can you deny perfection? How could you? Spontaneity. Chaos. Life. That's how you prove yourself. Why spend eternity to make the best possible you? Potential without release. And Grant was up to some messed up things. You create a bunch of clones, it seems using eugenics, and then pit them against each other to separate the strong from the weak. He's, he's really going all out on on Darwinism and evolution. I guess it probably wouldn't be a evolution if you're making clones and you can genetically modify them if they're if they can't breed themselves. But we don't know that, and could, could be completely capable of reproducing. Back inside, I guess. And be careful. You're not beginning to like me, are you? Wait, why did my helmet not come back on during all of this? Does this place have an atmosphere and oxygen as well, despite the fact I'm moving in between structures? Oh, this one's unlocked. Don't gotta shoot that one. Oh, another airlock. I'm gonna run. Don't wanna be stuck in here. Back to the palace. But there's no kneeling and bowing echoes. Same as the first airlock, just brighter and different decorations. It's a strange archway. It's a suspended Y field. Never seen a vertical one before. It looks like you're supposed to pass through. What does it do? Shouldn't do anything. It's self-contained. What is this? A nether gate? Oh, these are safe points. Even though this game uses a checkpoint system. Okay, well. Let's make the plunge. Okay, game is saved. Ooh, more energy. That should put me up to a third. Perfect. Let's take a look around. Oh, they know how to open doors. Oh, there's a tuning fork over there. I can see it. Oh, these are elevators. They're not just for show. Alright, so if I can get over here, I can get to that tuning fork. A couple echoes up there I'm gonna be have to be wary of though take this one out real quick 
Where's the other one? Doesn't matter. Hit it. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, there we go. Let's explore down here because it's safe. It just leads back up. When that door is locked. Can I jump down from here? No. Looks like we're going back up. Push her out of the way. And jump down. Okay, I'm back where I started. Fantastic. Looks like I have to go back out to the main hall. Or I can go deeper. Okay. I guess it's not really the end of the world if they see me. This isn't like Hitman or Metal Gear. Or if they see you, you know, you're kind of screwed. Because it's just going to reset. I'm guessing I'm trying to get down there. I don't know why I'm sprinting. No, but this takes me up. Hello. Good night. Oh, great. I just thought I'm, I just thought the man had choked me out. Probably should not have done that. I could have just snuck past. I really need to recharge all of my energy. I can't press against the wall. I completely forgot about that ability, the scan ability. I should probably start using that a little bit more to my advantage when the rooms get bigger and more complex. Oh, they learned how to use elevators, too. Oh, great. Yeah, they're coming down elevators now. Yep, and I just brought one to me. Great. Just teach him how to vault. Let's just, let's just teach him my entire moveset at this point. Elevators do seem like a good getaway option, at least. Oh yeah, that's actually really useful. I don't know why I forgot to use that. down at some point. Alright, I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna grab her. And she should be out of the picture by the time the other one gets back. Or not. Oh! Oh! Oh god! That was intense. Now I'm getting. Now I'm dead. Okay, that strategy did not work. Oh, 
does it save? Does it save tuning forks, or am I gonna have to do all of that again to go get the tuning fork? Let's find out. I really hope it saves that. No, you gotta do it every time. Oh, I thought I could I thought I was gonna be able to get on there before her. Keep it on. I don't need to mess with her. Just go right past. Oh, there's just, there's so many of them. Oh, is that a save point over there? There's energy here. Oh, there is a save point. But they don't work when it's blacked out. When it's blacked out. Okay. Well, we'll just wait for the lights to come back on. Because I'm also curious about these doors. If either of these open. Okay, none of the doors open. I've got energy and a save point. That makes sense. There we go. Now we can tackle the room proper. So we're going to have to go up to that second floor floor at some point, I think. Okay, you have to mash when you get on an elevator or they'll get on with you. Oh, it's on me. It's a good thing the palace made all of these little um, chest-high walls. Got him. No, no, no. Elevator, come back. Come back. Sink. Oh, I'm just wasting all of my energy. And now I'm wasting all my stamina. This is not good. I assume it's harder for them to see me in the dark, but... Since they're constructs of the palace, they might have really good night vision. They've been eating their carrots. Eat your carrots, people. They help you with your vision. At least that's the old wives' tale. Alright, we made it through. How far down are we going now? All of these doors are closed. Why do we have so many doors if they're all going to be locked? I'm supposed to keep going that way. Can I go down further? No. This is new. Manifest corruption. an instant blackout probably to correct the anomaly it didn't fix it it just moved 
If I touch it again, is it going to cause a blackout? They're reset points. So if I teach them some actions I don't want them to learn, if I can find those, touch them, it'll reset it. Oh, these later levels are going to be ridiculous, aren't they? I mean, they're, they're just like tossing energy pieces at me. Crystal orbs. So now we have a distraction item, along with a, bl a bludgeon and a medium range push. So we're going to use these like the coins from Hitman, probably. That's probably how I'll use them most, is causing a distraction. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bludgeon them. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I need to find something to bludgeon. Alright. Teach him how to open doors. Teach him how to come up elevators. But don't teach them how to run, shoot a gun, or go in the water. Alright, looks like I have things on both sides of the room I need to get taken care of. So let's go. Are you? Are you the bludgeon candidate? Where do you think you're going? You've been deemed bludgeon worthy. That's actually pretty quiet. I was waiting for one of them to react to that. This one's just staring at me. At me. Crap! I thought I had. I thought I had to go in water. Ah! Ah, get off me! Oh, that takes so much stamina. Well, I thought I had to eat. So they won't starve to death. Okay, they're not gonna know how to vault. There's a couple over here. Alright, I've got a scepter. I taught them a lot of things that last go around. So, man, I taught them again. Ugh. Can I get them on the steps? Those ones, this one's kind of glitching out. Well, that worked in my favor. Let's get to the top part over here. I don't know if I can carry two scepters at once, though. Okay, I can carry a scepter and a orb in my hand. Ha! Surprise!
Yeah, I never tried this out. So it's got the the arc that you're gonna throw it on. It's nice. Okay, one scepter's in. Let's head to the next one. Probably not that way. Eh, yeah, just unnecessarily teaching them things. There are not that many around. Here, let's just... Huh. Gonna need to learn the range. The sound range, at least. How far they'll react to it. Well, one sees me, and it's probably right behind me. Gah! Push. Yeah, I have to use all the tools at my disposal. All right, we're out of here. Wah! I just gotta get back to the door. I've got full charges. Oh, that thing has a... I can't even think of the word right now because I gotta run. It's got an orb in its hand. I gotta take it out. Door, open the door. Woo. All right, made it through death free. And there's more coming up. Or it's above me? Oh, it's above me. That eh, doesn't matter. I can run underneath it. More corruption. Let's reset everything. Okay, so they're back to being babies, hopefully. Ooh, tuning for. Man, there's probably a lot of those things around. doesn't have good running speed on steps. Look at that. An empty hallway without echoes. Yep, another one. They're everywhere. It's more energy. Another blue orb room. Oh no, I just taught him how to run. Alright, well, we're gonna have to be much stealthier now. But they're only down there? Oh, I have to get a lot of them for this room. Okay. Got some grapes. Oh, if they learn how to eat grapes, they can probably run forever. Okay, they didn't learn how to pick these up, though. Because that happened in the blackout. I guess in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter what I teach them if I don't get seen. Oh, except they can... 
Thanks that they can now run. And they can learn how to uh, walk on water. Walk through water. Just not walk on water. Come on. Who am I kidding? Oh, not yet they can't. That's going to be next time. Alright, this one behind me hopefully won't catch up to me. No! No! I couldn't get through the door quick enough. Alright, they can't open doors. But they can leap over stuff. Oh, that just saved my bacon. Get off me! Oh, I'm almost dead. Yeah. You know what? That one's gonna be a pain in my butt. I'm gonna take it out. I really wonder how loud that is. Glitched it out and it disappeared. Okay, then. Get some energy. Man, these things are just everywhere. Halfway there. I'm only halfway there. Well, if this is anything like the last room, it's gonna start triggering blackouts more frequently the more blue orbs I get. I'm pretty safe right now. Yeah. Oh, I really wish there was a quick turn. Like an RE4 style quick turn. Oh! They can shoot guns. I forgot I taught them that. Pick this up, pick this up. These things are useful. Ooh. Okay, got out of that sticky situation. Right into another one. Oh. Oh, this is this is devolving very quickly. That that devolved into violence very very quickly. That was not stealthy. <laughs> One's still behind me, isn't it? Okay, I feel like I'm safe here. Whew. Okay, we managed to get out of that. I need five more. How do I get over there, though? Oh, just that way. <laughs> I was making that way more complicated than it needed to be. Alright, I'm going to do a little area scan and see where this one is. just right in front of the door. It's 
Surprise! A few more to go. This part of the arena looks pretty safe. Or not. Oh! Don't oh, shoot at me! Holy crap! Okay, I know this isn't going to be a news flash to anyone, but getting shot hurts. I need one more. Jeez, they don't have the best aim, thankfully. Oh, I missed. Oh, I have storm I have stormtrooper aim. Getting out of here. Oh, oh boy. I, I gotta find another orb quick. Has to be one close by. There's one. Take you down. Get that orb. Okay, so if they're super close to me, they tend to, like, glitch out and disappear. Whew, made it. Let's hustle in here. We're safe. We're gonna descend. Oh, so every time... I get one, I get on one of these elevators, it'll decrypt more of the... So this is probably how many I got in a level. They're probably all... If you get them all, that's fully decrypted. If you didn't get them all, they're gonna have that wavy effect. That's my assumption, at least. Up uh, on 90 kilometers, slowing down. 90 kilometers, future gerbil. Let's put that in. Okay, we've descended much, much deep. We've descended much, much deeper into the palace, so things are. Only going to get more complex and more complicated as we delve deeper into the mysteries next time.